Hey, Captain Frank here on a brand new Regal 23 OBX. Purpose of this video today is to show you how to put this bimini top up. We've designed it to make it a lot easier, to give you hours and hours out of the sun with not a whole lot of hassle to get it up. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing we want to do is take this boot off, which is pretty simple. Unsnap the snap. You'll notice Regal put this snap clip here to kind of hold this in place while you're taking it up and putting it down so it doesn't get away from you if it's a little windy. So we're going to get it off. There's also a couple snaps on the end here that will hold it in place. Really put a lot of thought in this. So we're going to pull it off the pedestal up top and we're good to go there. Now the first thing we can set up, it doesn't matter if you do the aft first or the front, it works the same either way. So let's go ahead and do the aft since we're here. We're just going to fold this back get this out of the way here. Very simply, what we're going to do is bring these rods down. Now you'll notice that it's going to go into this anti-rattle hardware here. One on each side, so we're going to remove the pin. One of the biggest tricks I can show you to put this canvas up is simply this. Don't try and pull on the bows. You want to pull on the back edge of the top. So by pulling down, you, you can easily get this in. Do the same over here. Easily in. I want to put these retention pins in here so it won't pop back out. One here, one here. So the aft is done. Now we can move to the front. To get the front up, you'll notice it's in a down position at this point. So what we're going to do is raise it on these sliding arms here. Regal's done a nice thing for you. Rather than have a button that you pinch with your finger when you push it, You've got two buttons here. By pushing the lower one, it takes the bottom, the retention button, and gets it out of the way. Same over here. Now that we've got them in these positions, we're going to bring it up here to the top, position it, clip it in place. There we go. Do this side, same way, pushing the top button this time to lower the aft one. Bingo, we're in there. Now all we have to do is set up the two support arms that go on the front. The trick I showed you earlier, which is great, to get them in here was to pull down on the front of the bow. So we're going to do that. We'll unclip them here from their, their spot. You'll also notice that Regal put this block on here to keep the stainless rod from getting up against the power tower. So we pull down, slide it in there. There you go. We're going to do the same on the other side. And then we're pretty much done setting up the basics. The only other thing that you're going to have to do is there's two snaps on the outside of each one of these that keeps this canvas a little tighter and keeps it from plopping around in the breeze. There's one more thing I want to show you that I think is kind of neat. You know, this power tower has a purpose other than just looking good. It's got a pedestal on the top for water sports. So Regal even thought of giving you access to it. Here in the top, there's a zipper that you can reach up through and put the line on the pedestal without having to climb over the top. Hopefully these tips will help you get this top up. I think you'll find it's a very well designed, very sturdy, and uh, give you some great coverage from the sun. Captain Frank, hope to see you out on the water.